the biggest surprise is that Terry didn't make it as a big star. Terry was probably the best singer of that period. He could sing jazz, he could sing folk, he could sing, he can rip rock as hard as Rod Stewart. He was the hottest thing in London. Everybody was talking about him. This is the next big thing to come out of London. Terry's sound was different. It was, had that too, was pop, was rock, but was country blues, you know. And, and Being signed to Mickey Most at a, such a young age was stifling. Terry gets an average of three percent per record, um, which goes up. Um, I find that fair because it costs him nothing. It was always very obvious to me that Terry uh, w w was a phenomenal singer and had great talent, even at a young age. Terry uh, associated the more with, with kind of black music at that time. He's got that kind of sound. Very different. There was nobody like him. You know, I mean, you, you'd know it when it, was, when, it was, when it was him. Well, he was one of the first, like, white people with soul. It's, it's his voice, you know? Um, I think there are very few people that can sing the way that he does and make you believe every single word. He's a very soulful, uh, soulful voice. You know, it's just, yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, you get people like Aretha just loving his voice, you know, and Mick Jagger. I mean, all those guys, you know, they, they, they just uh, in awe. Some people remember Terry Reed because there was always the rumor that he was supposed to be the original singer of Led Zeppelin back in the day, but he had his own solo career, so he did that. When Led Zeppelin first arrived in the United States, the music was altogether new. Take me through how this band came together finally. Jimmy Page famously asked right. you to join Led Zeppelin right. and you suggested, I believe, Robert Plant. Why yeah. didn't, what happened there? I didn't know how it was going to be. Nobody knew. Terry wouldn't have known how it was going to be for him had he taken the option. He, he, he can't see himself as the guy who missed out on being. I just can't see him in Led Zeppelin. Come on. Did he audition for Led Zeppelin? Or, or was that, uh, was that uh, an urban myth? You know, what would have happened had Terry and, and Jimmy Page started making music together? I, I don't know. It was a gesture made in time, and the only reason it's worth talking about now is because of what happened afterwards. That's why I think I've got the rich kids blue. What about sort of dream people to work with? Terry Reed, you know, Terry Reed, he, he made some great albums in the 70s. And he's definitely someone we kind of look up to and, you know, you kind of say when, when you go up, you want to be like Terry Reed, you know, play music like that. I mean, Terry's one of the guys that's trying to move music forward. But he's, he's never had an identity crisis, he's never changed. This is one of the magic things about Terry, he's always been Terry Reed. You get what you see and that's it, and that's magic. If he... He hasn't become a big star. It, it was not because of him. We're okay, mate. Good. As long as you got what you need. That's the main thing. Okay. To this day, he still sounds great. I, I just, I've always been a big fan of, of his. Uh... It may be that the right opportunity hasn't presented itself. He's an incredible singer. He has a great sense of music. He has a great sense of rhythm, a great sense of chord structure. Cause there's that song that's Terry was in your the, heart. You know, I think he's the best rock vocalist that, well, that the world has ever seen. He's the most away. amazing rock vocalist that 
you've never heard of. How can you be Maybe Terry Reed's time is about to come. Who knows? Every expression that on his face before. I never liked doing anything that I didn't want to do.